Hi everybody, this is Carolina Kirkova and welcome to my bathroom, my personal intimate time. Because I'm someone who is always on the go, I do have two boys, two kids, and a husband, which counts as my third child. There's really never that much time for me and I'm someone who likes to do a lot of things. So my look has to be always very quick. What I'm gonna start with, it's a sheet mask. And it's kind of fun too. I mean, my kids think it's hysterical when I do this. Oh, it feels so good. Sorry, for a minute, I'm gonna check out, guys. And also I put it on my neck. You wanna make sure that all the good stuff from your mask goes not only on your face, but all on your neck, because neck is so important. All right, this is 15 minutes. It's coming off. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wash it off, because I don't want all of this on my face when I'm putting my makeup on. So I'm gonna wash my face. See you back in a second. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little bit of moisturizer. And I like to really massage my face because remember, your makeup is as good as your skin, your texture. You get all the blood flow going. I think this is a very Eastern European thing, smacking your face. It works. It just, again, it really brings the blood flow to your face and wakes you up, makes you feel like awake and fresh before you start putting things on your face. You know, it's easy to look great when you have a lot of makeup on. It's harder actually to look great, fresh, without anything. And to me, I don't want to always wear makeup. You know, I'm in the business where for a living, people do my makeup and I love it. I love makeup. I love to transform my face. But for my personal life, I want my skin to breathe. I want it to not age. I want it to look great. I want it to look fresh and young and dewy. And you're not going to have a great skin if you're constantly using powders and foundations 24 seven. Your skin has to breathe. And I think all that you get, you realize how Skincare is so important and removing properly your makeup after the end of the day and taking care of your skin. Um, you know, it's like anything. It's like a car. You got to take care of it. You can't really buy another skin. I want to feel like I look good without makeup. I want to feel confident even wearing your makeup. I'm going to do a little bit of vitamin C. Now I'm going to use Griffin Ivy Rose Body Oil, which is actually I'm stealing this from my kids. I actually love using it on my face before makeup because it's got all these incredible oils like olive oil, sunflower oil, jojoba oil. I use it after my moisturizer just on top from the little glow. And also it's just really good underneath concealer and makeup. It just really goes nice and smooth on my skin after when I'm applying the makeup. When it comes to foundations, I don't always wear foundations. I really try to be as light on my face as possible. So what I do, I put a tab like this. I learned to do my makeup really just by, you know, try and error. I mean, my mom, she didn't really wear a lot of makeup. She was very natural. She was all about that beautiful natural beauty. And if she did wear makeup, she wore lipsticks. So it's funny, I'm actually kind of doing my mom's look. And I love wearing lipsticks because it really gives a little, little pop to your face. So if you don't have time, and I always talk about this, if you have no time, you're on the go, and you want a little something to your face, always do lipstick. Now we're gonna use a little bit of concealer. I have learned a lot from makeup parties, doing my face, what I like and don't like. I mean, I've worked with so many. Pat McGrath, Charlotte Tilbury, Stefan Murray, Peter Phillips, and really from everyone, I've learned different tricks. So I can tell, actually share with you some very cool tricks which I love. So this morning, for example, I had oatmeal with honey and milk. And what I did and what I do when I have oatmeal, I put it on my skin. Oatmeal, it's so good for your skin. It moisturizes it, gives it a nice glow. So this is like an easy, great tip that anyone can do and afford, which I love. So now I'm gonna a little bit give myself a little glow. And I like using this Chanel creamy bronzer, bringing a little bit of sunshine to my bathroom. And then sometimes I even go over my eyelids. I like this Tata Harper. It's actually lip to cheek. And then I like go like this. And then I get rid of some of the excess. And I'm gonna give myself that little morning flush pink cheek. Like I just came from a gym or the steam room or some other stuff we're not gonna talk about because that's after hours. So I'm gonna give myself a little that 
Now we're gonna do my eyebrows. So I'm a blonde girl. So I do like a little bit of definition without looking like having black drawn eyebrows. And I'm gonna use this Stila waterproof brow color. And then what I like to do to go over with an eyebrow brush to really kind of put it all together and seal it and gel it. So we're done with my skin, cheek, eyebrows. Now it's gonna be about, we're gonna focus on the eyes. Ice, ice baby, ice, ice baby. I'm gonna use the Smart Jacobs Blacqueur. It's a fine liner and ultra skinny. And it's like it actually Creon. So it's really black. I'm gonna go super, super in my root, more towards the end, just a little bit to kind of intensify a little bit my mascara, like my uh, lash. And then I use my finger to blend it. Before we do mascara, we have to curl. For my mascara, I'm actually using three. So I'm using the primer. Then I'm gonna be using this Define Mascara from Lancome. And I start at the root and really carry it out so it doesn't get like clongy. And this mascara, also from Lancome, it's super fun. This mascara vibrates. Getting there! Oh, I feel awake now, I'm ready. I feel like I'm getting ready. Oh. Now I'm gonna use a highlighter. I like this RMS, so it's a little beat up because I like it a lot and I've used it a lot. And I like it because it is creamy. You can use it with your finger. I use it over my eye. Hydrate, hydrate. So important. You know, we have to find always ways to love yourself, to learn how to appreciate your looks and who you are. And yeah, you can learn some tricks, you know, how to highlight maybe the things that you love and somehow cover up things maybe you don't like so much about yourself. And that's where makeup, it's also comes handy because it gives you that opportunity, but it really comes from within. And now we're gonna go to the lips. I love doing lips. So today I'm gonna use this color from Pat McGrath. It is a very bright, sensual, sexy color. I'm ready for some kisses. A little bit of powder, just right in here. I'm gonna do a little bit. Again, I don't do much to my hair, I like to be quick. So I can leave it down, I can leave it at that. And then you can do a little poof, poof. Poof it up or behind your ears. I just twist it. Hmm, I think I'm gonna do the pearl today. I feel a little bit more grown up today. Well, this is so much fun. Thank you so much. I love doing this and I hope uh, you had fun with me in the bathroom. And thank you. See you next time.